Lovable just rolled out massive new update that is going to change the way that you build things. And by the way, if you're watching this video until October 6, you get to use Lovable for free. Yes, you can use it unlimited. You can build 100 apps and you can then sell them and make money. But yeah, you go sign up for Lovable if you're not yet, and then you can start building. But in this video, I'm going to explain you how to use Lovable Cloud, which is a new feature they rolled out. And for example, I'm, I'm not going to be using free versions, so I'm going to specify uh, use Lovable uh, Cloud 4.5 version to create a simple blog plus CMS that admins can add new posts. Use Lovable Cloud for database or use Lovable Cloud for a database. And uh, stop. Basically, what I said is I wanted to use Cloud 4.5, which is a new version of code, uh, because if I didn't specify, it would use the free version of Gemini, and I'm willing to spend some credits um, to create a simple blog plus CMS that I can add new posts, use Lovable Cloud. Uh, yep, Cloud, it says now, for database. So, and let's click and see what it does. Basically, Lovable Cloud allows you to save data and file uh, on Lovable, so you don't need to connect like to Superbase. You don't need to uh, do all those stuff, pay for external tools, everything, managing users, connecting safely with uh, OpenAI, connecting with AI, making your app uh, interactive with like I've seen um, a lot of people are actually building a generative AI features inside of Lovable. So for example, um, I saw that a guy building a image generator because now you don't really need to connect to external apps and stuff like that. So a lot of people and Lovable is reposting everything on Twitter. So if you create something right now and if you post it on Twitter, if you tag them, they will most likely repost you. So this is a great way to grow your new Twitter account. That's what I did and that's what I've been doing for a while. And yeah, I've got to uh, 3,500 followers almost. But yeah, let's go get back to Lovable and see what it creates. So now Lovable asking me if I want to allow everything, build in backend, add LLM to your app and free to start, pay your scale. Yeah, I'm going to allow it. And so by now I did not do anything, just approve the action and let's see what it comes up with. And here's the first result. Obviously we didn't specify anything about the design, but if I go to sign in here and if I sign, in, sign up with my information here and then I go to the blog section here so there is an admin page that I can go to I have now the ability to actually um, let me you don't have the access to that page uh, let's try again so I click admin oh yeah we need to ask global I sign up give me give me the admin rights and let's see what it says. So now it says that I'm an admin. Uh, let's go again to the admin page and uh, let's try creating any post. So I'm going to refresh the page. Sometimes my browser is too slow to, I don't know, work with Lovable's API. So it doesn't really refresh the page. I have to do it manually. So now let's go again to admin. And uh, still I don't have the permission, interesting. It says I don't have the permission. Give my email. Um, and admin. Oh yeah, all that I had to do is click on this dashboard thing here. So on the there is a dashboard, and once I click on it, I can click new post. Let's just call it test. And for the export test cover image, let's go to Lovable and let's just take any image as an example. So we're going to copy the image address here and paste it in our Lovable project. And the body text, we say test again, just to see if it works. And let's save the post. Let's go back to our homepage here and see if it added it and how does it look like. Yeah, so as you can see, we have this ready. I can click on it. I can see the copy right now. Um, but the only problem is the design itself. So the design looks really bad and there is are many ways to improve it. The first way is going to Dribble and looking for a reference that you like, seeing some beautiful pictures. Uh, like for example, you, ha you can select here the web design um, or you can even type the blog 
Um, but that, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to use another method, which is actually going to website directories like a Landbook. I'm going to use Framer Marketplace because there's specifically blogs that I'm interested in and that I think the design of which looks cool. So when I'm here, I can just type the blog and see if there's any blogs that I specifically like. So I prefer something in dark theme, that's for sure. Uh, like, yeah, for example, this one looks pretty cool. I'm going to preview this. And then I'm going to use a plugin, which basically allows me to copy the source code or whatever. I'm not a developer, so I don't know what it is. Like basically the design of a website. Uh, so I'm going to click copy here and I'm going to go back to Loable and I'm going to say just for the home page, change the styles to this, especially in the hero section. And I'm just going to paste the code. And for the cards itself, make them look like this design. And I'm going to go to the site again and copy the cards code. So basically toolbox, copy elements, and I guess like this, I can just copy. I'm not sure if Lovable will allow me to paste this code seems like it did quite a long code but let's see what it comes back with and here what we've got so as you can see it definitely did good job with the heading obviously i can edit a few stuff for example i don't really like the big size of it so i can click on this edit icon at the bottom and edit styles font size and now i can just select it to fit two lines other than that i think this is actually very good for just two or three prompts that I had so far, uh, including all of those functionality. So now let's try to adding one more title. I'm going to say, um, I'm going to go to perplexity, whatever you use, and I'm going to say write an article in HTML so I can just paste it, paste it in Lovable, in Webflow. I'm saying this just for it to write in HTML. I'm going to not paste it in Webflow. I'm going to paste it in Lovable. But I hope you understand what I mean. I don't know, it didn't. I just need, I don't know how to explain since I'm not a developer, but basically what I need is to create it in a way because this thing supports HTML. So basically, I, I'm not sure how, how to explain it to it, unfortunately. But if you ask it to write, and if, for example, it write like H1, h1 heading here and then it's very, basically very easy to structure stuff so i'm going to go here to this template and actually just copy one blog i'm going to show you how it's easy to add so for the image i'm just gonna um click on it and then i'm gonna right click on it and copy image address i'm going to paste the image address here and uh, now i'm going to copy the text from here not like that. Not like that. I need to you to turn me the text that I will send to you into HTML. It doesn't have to be a full page. It just have to be HTML that I can pay, paste into CMS inside of Webflow, if you understand what I mean. Okay, so now I think it will understand what I mean. And I can just copy it now. And uh, yeah, let's copy and paste it on top of this and let's see what it does so as you can see now i think it still did not do like sections i don't really need the sections but yeah we'll see uh for the expert we'll just say victor whatever uh for the name we're gonna say monograph whatever whatever the evolution of design thinking so i just paste it here uh, so it updates the slug automatically and uh, now I can just go back to complexity. Oops, something's wrong. Maybe, maybe not. Because it looks very, very small. But yeah, let's see if it does work. I'm going to save the published post. Make sure to toggle that toggle. I'm going to go back to a homepage. And let's see what is the final result of our page. As you can see here, we have the page. And once I click on it, 
I have this, but it is too small. I'm going to ask it, make it way beautiful. Um, yeah. Make it way beautiful for mining. Way. And let's see what it does now. So it did give us way more text than the previous version. Let's go to the admin again and try to replace this and see if the result has been updated. Um, oh yeah, I need to click dashboard at the top. I forgot all the time. So now let's click this add button. We're saving the post again uh, and uh, clicking it again. And yeah, it did format it, although it did format it for a black background. So if I specify invert or stuff like that, it would do good. Yeah, so this is how you can now create blogs inside of Lovable without using any additional tools. If you want me to do another video on how to build complex, uh, like let's say uh, software with using uh, CMS or with using AI automation, let me know in the comments.